Well, it is officially the year 2019, and with that coming to a close, I thought I would do another old school style video for you guys. Hey there, my name is Danielle, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be counting down my top five picks for the worst work at a pizza place items. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Number five, Medieval Spikes. Out of everything that I've seen on work at a pizza place, I have been, um, I have been looking at people's houses and, and all, all I've been, well, not all I've been seeing, but in some of their houses, they have medieval spikes. And let me tell you, they are incredibly annoying to deal with because if you touch them, like, even if you're like about like, a, like the tiniest inch away from them, you can pretty much get killed by them. Like, like the tiniest touch can can just make you just die in an instant, which makes this one of the most infuriating work at a pizza place items to ever be put into any Roblox game of all time. Number four, friend door. The friend door, you can pretty much debate about it all you want. Basically, this is a door that you can use to defend something that you have in your house that only you want your friends to see. And, like, sure, you can use this item if you want, if you only want, specifically your friends in your house. But if you're using it, or if you, or if you have something in your house that you specifically want your friends to see, but nobody else, then... It's totally fine, but if you're using it for none of those reasons, then I definitely see it as, um, I guess you could say, like, maybe a sign of maybe improper use of the item. And sometimes I just see it as um, an attention for YouTubers to specifically friend them just so they can see what's in their house. And it's like, and it's just so annoying because like pretty much the friend limit on Roblox is 200 friends. And if YouTubers accept everybody's friend requests, it's just not going to be fair for everybody. And do you know how hard it can be for YouTubers to actually deal with this? Because some people actually do, uh, I guess you can, because some people still use that item, well, not use the item, but because some people still f send their favorite Roblox YouTubers requests, and um, basically, uh, what the, the thing that you need to know is that you, you Roblox YouTubers and other YouTubers, non-Roblox YouTubers as well, I should be saying, Ro Roblox YouTubers and non-Roblox YouTubers cannot accept trend requests on anything because it just wouldn't be fair to everybody, but they can follow them. If there is a follow option beside a friend option. So, yeah. So, pretty much the friend door, it's just pretty much, well, nothing really, but a door that your friends can really enter. It's really not that much of a big, huge item that's, that, I, that I say is really worth it. Number three, MacBook and iMac. Now, to be honest, I am a fan of interactive items. Basically, it means items that you can interact with. Like, um, items that can actually make you, like, use um, the um, buttons and mouse functionalities. Like uh, those Game Boy items that you could get back in the olden days of work at a pizza place. Like, 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 like when you had those Game Boys back in the olden days of work at a pizza place. Those Game Boys allowed you to play like, like little mini games on them, and all of them were actually really good. But now, it just doesn't feel like that. Um, the MacBooks 
and the and the iMac, they did give me some high hopes that you could interact with them, but little did I know, they do absolutely nothing but just for decoration. You can't play games on them. You can't really do, well, anything on them. They're just there for pretty much, well, decoration, I'm guessing. Like, sure, you can do role plays with them, but it would be nice to, like, at least have um, some bit of um, interactivity and, like, like some interact activity there, if you know what I mean. Like, something interactive to do with, with the Max. I, like, it would be nice to, like, have, like, like, some sort of mini game or maybe a little version of YouTube, but not name it YouTube, like, have it under, like, a, under a different name to avoid, uh, the, to avoid copyright issues and all that other stuff. Yeah, I wish there was just, like, more functionality to the max. Number two iPad. The iPad is pretty much the same thing as the Mac, uh, is pretty much the same thing as the MacBooks and the iMacs. They just, again, the iPad, it has no interactivity on it. Like, no fun mini game, you know, all those other stuff that I just mentioned with the Macs. I just wish that the iPad had, like, more functionality to it. Like, maybe, like, some sort of music to listen to, like the IDs that you could play on the DJ set in the game. Um, pretend to do videos on it. Pretend to take photos on it. Like, like sure, you can, like, sure, again, you can do role plays with it. But I just wish that there was more interactivity with the uh, Macs and the iPad. And they had a phone, but it, but it had very few interactivity. All it did was you could look down at it. And you could also make it do like a little uh, jingle on it. And that was pretty much it. So, yeah. I really wish that those items had more interactivity with it. Because I am a huge fan of interactive items. And finally, at number one, we have the snowball. The snowball is an item that basically allows you to throw snowballs at people. The only problem with these snowballs is that... If you hit somebody and they're sitting down, what they can do is that they can get up, get back, get up out of their chair, and uh, they can have their seat stolen by somebody, which I think is literally a dumb thing. Like they could have at least done something with the snowball so they didn't affect people who were sitting down. So maybe one day the creator of the game will come up with a plan to actually fix that. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys happen to enjoy this video, please make sure you like this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe since that we are almost at 200 subscribers. And also, don't forget to ring that bell to join the yellers. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.